Yo, what's good y'all? Welcome back to Girl Tati. If you are new to my channel, what's good, what's good, what's good? Welcome, welcome, welcome. You can catch me here every Sunday or Monday for a 411 on what to expect for the week ahead. Any spiritual, energetic guidance on your elemental signs, fire, earth, wind, water, you name it, right? So if you're going to be watching this, Please watch for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Tune in. Give your girl a like and subscribe. I appreciate that so deeply. And I'm so good, so excited to have you guys on board. This week, we're getting into the week of Monday, February 12th, all the way to Sunday, February 18th. So this week is going to be Valentine's Day extraordinaire. Um, it's also... Uh, officially the year of the wood dragon so happy lunar new year for everybody that's watching Beyonce has released or has announced the release of her act so what else Usher at this time that you're watching has already performed at the Super Bowl so we got a lot going on in the cosmos right okay so I'm about to get into it but as per usual church announcements blah, 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 blah. okay so for this whole month of February you guys can grab my mini course, The Art of Sensuality, Activating Your Divine Feminine Energy, and, um, and Magnetism. And so the heart of the art of sensuality, the heart of what's contained inside, are modules with journal prompts, um, energetic activations, meditations, ways to connect to your divine feminine, ways to connect to your divine masculine, um, Akashic record practices and just all sorts of energetic tools and inner alchemy work that you can apply at your home You can apply at your own routine and ritual when you're sitting down doing journal work when you're sitting down to meditate Sitting down to do any sort of self-care routine. You can do this and um, I compiled all of this stuff because I like to one of my self-care pleasures is doing a lot of inner work I hate to call it work because it doesn't feel like work it really doesn't it feels like inner exploration alchemy excavation I'm trying to I'm trying not to get it to sound too woo woo too but it's really inner energetic work inner energetic shifting shape-shifting becoming revealing unlayering processing um, debunking, decoding, recoding, it's all of that. And I've seen a lot of YouTube videos on the soft life, the luxury life. You guys, if you guys know about me, I released a mini course on the energetics of opulence, leveling up financially, leveling up in, in the space, in the realm of abundance and wealth. Not just financially and monetarily, but in all sense of that energetic word, right? And in so doing a lot of that work, I've noticed a lot of the materialistic aspects on social media, on YouTube, dress this, buy this, do this, um, manipulate this, and it doesn't cover, <laughs> it doesn't cover a lot of the underlying roots and causes and subconscious causes as to why you may still be operating from a system of lack, from a system of undeservability, unworthiness, um, from a system of even being ignorant to the reality that you're operating that way, right? Believing that things have to be a struggle, believing that any challenge or obstacle you need to work hard to solve, right? And child, that life is ghetto. And I was tired. I didn't want to be in that operating system no more. I do a lot of work in the spirit realm. They were giving me a lot of downloads on the inner work I had to do. And so I compiled the energetics of opulence and the art of sensuality as a wholesome collection of all the inner work I've been doing to shift out of that and continuously shift out of that. Because whatever level you find yourself in, even as you level up, there are more things to discover. There are more internal belief systems that may not be in compliance to that space that you're in, right? It, um, it is always an evolutionary process. And I feel that it's our birthright and our right in general just to have the tools to be able to evolve properly, to be able to process our inner world properly, and to be able to dissect that 
from a, a holistic space, but also very real world. I need to understand why I'm thinking this way or where this is coming from and how to shift, right? So it's the spirit realm meets the 3D realm, right? And, and we work together to, to shift up. So the Art of Sensuality, this mini course, is a six plus module. You have six standard modules that are the tutorials of that whole mini course. But you also have a bonus module that has a bunch of teachings in there. Akashic records for accessing your divine masculine, divine feminine blueprints, energetic blueprints. Um, how to read your morphogenetic field um, to see, you know, what sort of energy you're operating in when it comes to love and romance, what you're attracting in your field and what kind of energy you're emitting out there. Um, inner child work, a juicy love and, and oracle spread to assess and evaluate your love relationships, whether it be romantic or platonic, how you're showing up in relationships yourself and other people. So, and, and so much more. So there's so much in there. Um, it's just been download after download after download. I really do feel that outside of the soft life and the sensual life and the pleasurable life, which is, is, is phenomenal. I feel like spirit really wants to get this tool on the hands of as many people so we can really start collectively shifting out of this hustle, lack, struggle timeline and elevate, because that's my word of the year, elevate ourselves into a higher, more superior timeline where we're just operating from a space of worthiness, from a space of everything works for me, I don't have to work hard for these things, right? And we can even manipulate what that working hard means. It doesn't mean that you're not putting in effort, it just means that effort is more in a fluid state rather than a stagnant go, stop, go, stop, go, stop, I don't feel like I'm moving, state of constipation, energetic constipation, right? And so, this mini course is catered for you guys to to supply you guys with the alchemical components to change your life. So it's not meant to be just sit down and do everything at one time. It's okay when I resonate with this work, I'm gonna sit down and do module one, process that for a couple of days. Maybe I'll do module two after. Maybe after I start seeing everything happening in my life, I need to take a break because it's overwhelming. Oh my God, so much great stuff is happening. I'll jump to module five. So you're gonna have lifetime access when you purchase this mini course. It's on sale for 111, okay, lifetime access. And you also have access to any other future mo modules that I will put into the mini course like I'm doing now. It's not the first time I've dropped the mini course. So anybody who has purchased The Art of Sensuality has the bonus modules uh, free of charge. And anybody who purchases now, when I drop more modules in the future, you will have those free of charge. So please grab that up link down below. It is your time to rise this year. Now we're officially in dragon year and that is a time to seize the day to put yourself forward to lead with courage and conviction and also to get out of this monotony of karmic timelines karmic timelines being timelines where you repeat the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over and over again you're not seeing changes in your reality you're stuck at the same financial standpoint stuck with the same body stuck with the same friends stuck with the same mindset stuck with the same environment stuck with the same habits stuck with the same hobbies stuck, stuck with the same community and it's time for you to level up if that's what you desire for yourself and change that timeline process and learn what you had to do to repeat that over and over again and gather a new experience for yourself, okay? Down below. So what are we going to do now? Okay, Spirit is saying we're going to do water signs. Okay, so let's get into it. Um, let me just clear my deck because they it is in a tizzy. It is in a tizzy right now. Great Spirit. Let me just take a moment to connect. The tarot is incomplete. They keep telling me the tarot is incomplete. I know it makes space for mystery. 
that I need to sit down and channel what other cards they want me to add to the deck. Um, because, or more definitions, the cards are morphing and it's time to add on to them. Um, right, okay. Thank you for that little download. Okay, so so water sign, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Grace Spirit, what is the message you want to relay to water signs for this week? Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Okay, what's going on? I want to kind of lower this down. Uh, it's not looking like it's kind of possible right now. It's not looking like it's going to budge so much. Are we gonna be able to move it? No, disregard that. Yes, my Christmas tree is still up. I need to give her away, child. She's been up since like two years now. Water signs, you guys are in a loophole. So funny, I was talking about karmic timelines before we jumped into water signs. And um, what you guys are getting are the page of wands. Five of pentacles. Six of cups. And page of wands is very indicative energetically of you wanting something else other than what you're experiencing now. It is time to explore new frontiers. It is time for you to literally push yourself out of your comfort zone, out of the zone of coziness or get cozy with pushing yourself out of your comfort zone, right? Get comfortable with consistent change. And what I'm seeing here is starting to really play with the energy around you. Don't just wear the same things you would wear each day. Style your hair in the same way you would style your hair. Talk or relate to your friends in the same way you would relate. It's almost like spirit wants you to try on new energies. Like you're taking an energy like, mm, what is the energy of a comedian? Let's just say for an example. And what would it look like if I just metaphorically tried on that energy? You know, how, how would I now spend this whole day, this new day, looking at life through the lens of a comedian? And the reason why they're showing me this, it's almost like they don't want you, water signs, to get stuck in some sort of monotonous rut. There's something that is repeating or is on loop at the subconscious level and it's going to show itself to you. It's going to mirror itself to you somewhere in your life within this week or the next week, right? Definitely before February 22nd. They're almost like giving me this February timeline to get caught up with this particular timeline loop that is they don't want to say it's not, they don't want to say it's toxic. They don't want to say it's not beneficial because everything provides value. Everything can wake you up and, and heighten your awareness in some way, but it's not desirable. It's not something that you're desiring and you're looking straight at the problem rather than becoming the solution. And the solution for this is simply playing with other energies and realities that you have around you. Um, with the page of wands, that, let's make this more simple than what it is, it is changing up your routine. Instead of taking the same path to work, you're taking a new path to work. Instead of, if you always wear your hair down, maybe put it up. It's switching and playing with the multi-dimensional identities that you have, energies that you are curious about that you haven't tried on. Basically, Spirit is saying, don't be basic. Okay, don't be basic with the page of wands because um, I see this momentum moving forward. The page of wands is all about progression. It's all about evolution. It's all about this excitement and this curiosity of what is possible. What, how can I actualize my potential? 
but we're getting this forward movement and yet we're encountering the five of pentacles here almost as if you're being you're you're focusing too much on literal 3d reality on what other people's realities are that may be hardship may be lack may be difficulty may be struggle may be stories that other people are telling themselves that are not necessarily conducive to where you want to end up and go and again this is very nuanced so it's like you don't turn a blind eye to the horrors of the world but you really need to kind of stay in your own lane at this time figure out your momentum and focus on what's going to elevate you and lift you out of only focusing on something that is not what you want to bring into your reality and there is again this sort of loophole this repetition this sort of ka karmic timeline that is being played out here with the six of of cups that is in relation to your past it's in relation to a past timeline so if anybody if y'all if any of y'all do work with hypnotherapy past life regression, Akashic record work. This would be an excellent time. Open up your books, do the meditation, explore what is going on. What are the immediate timelines that are grabbing my attention? And how do I close that timeline out and, and, and jump into the timeline of what I desire? How do I shift my focus from what I don't want to what I do want? How do I expose myself and make myself more available for what it is that I do want. And for a lot of you guys, that's getting out of your comfort zone. Again, I, I've been speaking about this from week to week. It looks like maybe there is a move on the horizon. There is an upgrade with your home. There is an opportunity to meet new people, to be in community or around people that can bring experiences and opportunities into your life that up level your life. There is um, this insatiable desire to gather more information, gather more spiritual knowledge. It's like your soul wants you to wake up and remember, right? There's this urgency there. And some of you may be lost as to how do I do this? How do I go and do that? How do I um, resource this information? And what spirit is saying is, you know, take, listen to what I'm saying. So this could be in the form of meditation. This could be in the form of, again, journaling. This could be in the form of doing a YouTube past life regression, doing a YouTube guided meditation, um, learning how to open your Akashic records. There is a tutorial on my Instagram. I did an IG live on the Akashic records and automatic writing. I'm also gonna be doing another YouTube live here you know, discussing and doing um, uh, some inner alchemy work, teaching you guys some inner alchemy work based on the art of sensualities um, theme, right? And so you could do either or, you can research on YouTube. There's so much, but there is this sense of this past timeline. Um, it could be a timeline you have with somebody romantically, uh, a parent, a child, There is, it, it, but it, it's steeped in struggle, it's steeped in lack, and this sort of reality or energy is being mirrored around you, and you're trying to walk around it, you're trying to evolve past it, and you just don't know how. You're even getting the choose wisely situation, so I mean... This is telling me that, you know, if you've asked for a portal, if you ask for an opportunity to level up, it is going to come to you. But make sure you know what the energy of level up is, because there could be a lot of trickery and deception. There could be a lot of destruction. You might place your focus on things that are not worth your time and your energy, thinking that it's going to help you level up when in reality it's not because you're not paying attention to how you feel in your body. Um... And, and so you really need to get clear on the energetics of what is my next level. You might not know, you know, visually what it is. You might not know uh, literally what it is. You might get a sense of little puzzle pieces that are forming the whole. You will get a sense of what it feels like. You know, maybe your next level is, I want to have a more regulated nervous system. I'm really calm. I'm really confident in my body. 
I'm cozy. I accept myself in all levels, all forms. I can access my in intuition at a blink of an eye. I'm really comfortable with public speaking. I'm uh, engaged to the love of my life. You know, we're flying around the world. I'm making so much. Um, I'm making so much money by living out my passion and helping out so many people. Um, you know, my my dynamics with my family have healed, or I've gotten. A, you know, I'm starting a family, or I'm bought. Whatever it is, you can get into the feelings of that. Okay, you can get into the feelings of that. And what this reminds me of is something that I tweeted uh, a couple of months ago. And what this is telling me here with the Page of Wands and the Five of Pentacles is that you will indeed be leveling up. Um, even if you don't feel it right now, there will be a, a boost, an unexpected boost that occurs from behind the scenes and then will manifest outwardly. And this sort of leveling up is going to trigger people who are too comfortable to level up. They just don't have the desire, they don't feel like it's possible for them or their abundance and their abundance mindset is steeped in an abundance of lack, an abundance of suffering, an abundance of victimization, an abundance of shame, an abundance of fear. And you're kind of just lifting the fog, lifting the veil from that and saying, oh, I don't want to participate in that dynamic anymore. I don't want that for me anymore. It has plagued my ancestry and it's plagued this and this, or I have participated in that for so long and it's, it's really draining me dry. I don't want to do it. And it's going to trigger people. You may lose followers, you may lose friends, you may disconnect from certain family members, you may lose interest in things that once captivated you and intrigued you and now on an energetic level that's not the case anymore. Your diet might change, your look might change, your habits might change, your desire to own where to live might change, your desire on what career to get into or pursue might change, your um, energetics of money will change. So everything is going to be shifting for you, um, for you, for the duration of this year and onward, but yeah, it's already shifting now. And so um, if this means that family members are shifting or friends are deep, deep loved ones that you really want to bring along for the ride or shifting, don't. Leave them where they're at. It's best to help people level up. It's best to help people grow and evolve from where they are by being an example and embodying that for yourself. Don't get too much in your masculine energy and don't be Captain Sabaho by trying to bring people up with you and do the work for them because you're then stealing or spiritually bypassing the work they need to do for themselves, the karmic work, the realizations, the aha moments, the you're, you're, you're helping them cheat and you're not getting any credit for it. In fact, that energy is going to bring you down. Okay? So you do need to assess and investigate past timelines, things that are repetitive, that are no longer in compliance and alignment with where you want to go, where you want to be, like why does this keep on showing up, or why does this feeling of abandonment keep on showing up, or why does this disappointment keep on showing up, or why is this, why do I always dim my light and cut my To continue, uh, why, uh, I forgot my train of thought because my memory card said it was full. But nevertheless, the message for you guys here, water signs, try on new energy. Try on new energy. Trying on energy again means switching up your routine. That means you need to sit down for this new wood year and wood dragon year and kind of rewrite your ideal day, ideal week, and the routines. If you have a routine that helps bring out the best in you, maybe your routine is you wake up first thing in the morning, you spend 10 minutes in prayer or visualization then you do some sort of face care thing that's gonna razzle dazzle you make you feel good um then you're gonna tune into your intuition and pull what outfit you should be wearing for the most success in the day or maybe you'll go to your shrine whatever it is upgrade your routine 
like everything needs to be upgraded. Like, okay, we all did this last year. <laughs> new chapter. We're doing something new this year. And it doesn't have to be grandiose and OD different. It just has to be slightly different because we're now tweaking this and we're jumping into a new timeline that's more elevated, right? Just think of elevated. Spirit wants that wants y'all to give wants me to give y'all my word of the year, elevate. <laughs> This is the time to elevate, which means you can't elevate if you're in the same level as before and you can't change from that level if you don't choose and decide something better for yourself, right? Choose wisely. Again, this is not a year for you to, again, be Captain save -a You're not saving nobody. It's not your responsibility. It's not your responsibility to heal everybody. If it is your job to be a healer, People can pay you to do that. You don't do it for free. Okay? Um, investigate timelines. Investigate what the repetitions in your realities are. What's repeating? What's staying the same energetically? Well, how do you think of things? It, you know, um, be an observer of your thoughts. Be an observer of the emotions in your body. Um, it is a great, great year to dive into the Akashic Records. I just had a sale on my course or you could do the free IG live on my Instagram page, okay? Or I have a myriad of guided Akashic record meditations on my Possess Your Spirit membership along with other tutorials and psychic development classes down below on my Possess Your Spirit membership, okay? But it's, you need to kind of be aware of not choosing the same thing. Not choosing the same thing that feels the same way. And you need to be aware of what that feels like. You may have sort of, some sort of soul contract. Some sort of agreement. Some sort of vow. Vows that's keeping the same situations, uh, opportunities, experiences, and people into your field. Right? Six of Cups deals a lot with the past. And it also deals a lot with childhood. So dealing with... I do see this leveling up beyond your childhood experiences, surpassing the shadows, working with the shadows, you're clearing the shadows, you're getting a better understanding of what your shadows are, and you're able to choose better for yourself as a result, okay? So water signs, focus on that, all right? And um, this is a great year of growth for you. This is a great time of growth for you. Um, so much is changing. What are we going into now? Fire signs, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Fire signs, sun, moon, rising, Venus. buttons this is the week to do you in all sense of the word this is the week to really um, embody that Aquarius like energy and be the rebel be the innovator and do something that you've always wanted to do but haven't done you have a lot of people betting against you fire signs Sun, moon, rising. Don't let it get to your head. You're getting conflicted and defeat. You're, you might be thinking about experiences you've had in the past that did not pan up to play up to par, that did not provide you with the nourishment you needed, that you know made you feel like a failure or made you feel silly. You got an opportunity to do it again. Okay, we're getting the the king of wands, fire signs, and what this is telling me is you need to be larger than life. 
You really need to be in these people's faces and not even in these people's faces, but in a realm of your own reality where you're not listening to the opinions of other people. You don't care about what they think of you. It's really none of your business. You're on a creation role. I don't, a creative role, a creation high. You're just creating, creating, creating. Um, and it doesn't necessarily mean like you're creating content or anything like that, but it's like you're making plans for one, two, three, four, five years ahead. You're starting to, all that vision that you see yourself in, in five years ahead, you're starting to implement it now. You're starting to do what it takes to be the person that you see. You're starting to really place firm boundaries. You're starting to get out of your lane, you know. Once you start doing large things for yourself, once you really start acting from the space of delusion or whatever, start acting from your own space of self-interest, being selfish, really indulging in your creativity, in your ability to manifest, in your ability to become, have, do, see, whatever you want, people are going to be like seven of wands. Like, who does this person think they are? Um, I, I'm not doing that for myself. I have a very limited mindset about myself. I think very little about myself. I'm very insecure. So I got to come out of my lane to give my toxic energy to this person. And hey, I'm here. I'm turning that currency into money, honey. I'm turning that currency into money. So spirit is really saying, put your headphones on. Where are my headphones at? They're in my bag. Pretend I have my headphones on. Put your headphones on. Boom, main character energy. Burr, 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 burr. I'm the one, never the two. Who are you? You really need to show these hoes that you're not a peasant. Nothing wrong with peasants. Dumb people think a certain way about themselves, think about life a certain way. You're over here trying to level up. Not even trying to level up. You leveled up. You're already there. Everything else will fall into place. King of Wands is looking away from the nonsense. That don't even exist to me. That's not how I want to spend my currency. Right? So don't let the naysayers and the people who can't learn from their mishaps, who can't learn to see the glory of who they are, who don't want to choose to evolve, who don't want to choose to level up, who don't want to pick yourself up and try again, like the great prophet Aaliyah said, they don't want to do that. They ain't got nothing to do with you. You got to focus on what you're doing. You got one life to live. You got a mission in this lifetime. You got a purpose in the lifetime. You got to live it to the fullest. King of Wands thing. Do that thing. Okay? Be that person. Be selfish. Be in your lane of delusion where you really are like, I am the best. I look the greatest. I am the best version of myself. Everything is working for me. I'm the architect of my reality. I want this here. I want this there. I can't wait to feel this. This is how... That you really need to get into the energetics of your mindset and rework it so that it's working for you because you're showing up as a king of wands and these naysayers are like, wait, 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 wait. We don't want you to grow. We want you down here with us. We want you down here and struggling. Like, look at these people in the background trying to bring this dude down. Like, the spirits. Like, this is why we do a, a, elevations in the spirit realm. This is why we hold Mises because you've got them dead spirits that don't want to be lost to the higher realms where they can be actually of good use and service. <clears throat> Leveling up. Not too dissimilar from earth signs, but no water signs messages, which I just read. So you fire signs, you might want to watch water signs messages too but you're gonna have ain't nobody not have a hater you know what i'm saying like everybody has a hater so it doesn't even matter you need to be focusing on you and what you're doing and what's up ahead for you because if you got the king of wands this means like you got some major plans you're the architect the architect can't get caught slipping thinking about this person that person because then what happens if they're trying to build a building and they miss the freaking first tier or whatever, that shit's going to collapse. You're going to look goof, goofy, right? Spirit is saying, what's for you is for you. Cannot pass you, cannot miss you. You also need to be an outcome, outcome. I can't talk today, y'all. I can't talk today. I might as well just be talking in light languages because I cannot talk today. 
you might as well be an alchemist because whatever people throw at you, whatever dense energy they throw at you, let source transmute it to wealth. Let source transmute it to uh, free marketing. Look, and I'm seeing a cat. Look, mm, cats. Cats are a great sacred spirit animal. Um, stealthy, wealthy. You know, you got other things to worry about. Really, this is a simple and straightforward message. Fire, use that fire to burn everybody's energy down and change that into a, a fuel of gold. You know, you know, not literally burn people down, but you know what I'm saying here. Ace of Cups is you, as long as you mute the background noise, you can't miss out on anything. This is really your time, fire signs, because we're, dragon is just a naturally fiery creature. So we're in this year where it's very much you. Granted, it's a wood dragon, but it's still like wood and fire. So you have the potential this week to go really far, to, to really just be in a zone of greatness and to, to know and to lock that in. And it's just a matter of remembering to elevate your consciousness, not be caught in peasant consciousness, in insecurities, in doubts, in, in going back to a time where you wasn't about it, about it, where you didn't make it, where you're belittling yourself. No, that no longer exists. Exalt yourself in all forms, okay? Air. Air, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is your energy reading for this week? Air, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is your energy work uh, reading for this week? Air, air, air. What is the energy reading for this week? Air. This this, so this theme for this week for so many people, including air signs, is, is you know what I'm hearing? Is, I'm coming out. I want the world to know. Don't make me sing because I'm not a singer. But that's the message that's coming out because I'm coming out and it's on y'all to deal with me. It's on y'all to deal with me. I'm going to deal with myself. God's going to, God's going to, God's got me. But y'all deal with your home situations, okay? Because it is really like this. I'm getting the visual of regular, regular Clark Kent taking off his shirt and then becoming Superman. It's like a lot of y'all didn't even realize you were superheroes or you got powers like that or you, you about to show the world. Y'all about to show the world, right? And so with you air signs, Zagazanza. You are getting the four of pentacles, which means um, it's a period of recalibration. It's a period of resting, sitting on your gifts, waiting for the right moment. Sometimes this could be like, oh, I'm just, I'm just hermiting. Um, I'm just hesitant and hermiting and deliberately keeping away. Um, all right. We see that with the Four of Pentacles is this self-preservation, um, proper calculation of the timing of when, when to drop things, when to release things, um, when to strategically show people your hands. And also it's a double-edged sword because one of the last cards you're getting is the Two of Swords. So you don't want to get too heady air signs where it's like, you, whether it's energetically, you feel like your time is coming, you don't know what it is that you're about to release or drop or show to the people, you just can feel like there's a new version of yourself emerging, or whether it's quite literally a project or something, um, an announcement or something, there is an aspect of you that is um, kind of like questioning this. <laughs> is it good enough? Am I ready? You know, who am I to do this? Um, I'm kind of scared of what lies beyond because it's a new energy that I've never encountered.
But here in the center of your spread, you've got the fool. So fool is all about new beginnings. Fool is also about engaging in this space of play, wonder, and inner creativity. You just need to be like your inner child. Again, doing a lot of inner child work, asking your inner child how it's doing, um, supporting and nurturing your inner child, um, playing with your inner child, engaging with your inner child, and um, showering your inner child with affection and not taking yourself so serious. I feel like, yes, there's a version of you that could be emotionally constipated or maybe even physically constipated, not in the sense that some of you guys may be hair signs, but physically constipated in the sense that you're stuck where you're at. You, you're a little rigid. <laughs> and it's time to literally move the body, get acupuncture, acupressure, Go to some sort of Korean spa, steam, sauna, jacuzzi, ice bath it away, foam roller it away, go to a Pilates class, go to a yoga class, go to candlelight yin yoga in your bedroom. Do something to move those kinks out of your body because there is some stale energy here and it may be in the realm of the heart. The heart may fear expansion. It may fear the unknown because of whatever has happened in the inner child. There is an aspect of your inner child that's allowed them to like just break out, express, uh, create, experience. And that inner child is going to give birth to a healthier adult. It's going to give birth to more creative projects, more uh, uh, deep spiritual awakenings, um, deep intuitive gifts and powers. It's, it's going to really gravitate and pull to you the truth of what it is that you most need at this time in your life, whether it's a new iteration of a relationship or a brand new relationship altogether or better job or better health. That inner child and that breakthrough with that inner child, it is really going to help everything because it's interconnected with everything. And so moving the body, releasing these kinks, doing inner child work, um, pushing beyond what you feel is possible for you, not overthinking, you know, when should I drop this, when should I do this, but really feeling into this information. Um, you're getting the truth card, okay? The truth card, what is this, justice? I really feel for a lot of you, your homework this week is dropping from being really logical and heady to placing your awareness in your heart and, and feeling out information from that space. Like, just check in. Hey heart, this is your girl. How are you doing? I'm checking in with you, just wanted to see how you're doing. My heart's like, I'm good, I'm a little tired. Ooh, why are you tired, girl? Mm. Okay, she's like, I'm tired of your bullshit. You're not listening to me. <laughs> I have been doing the most. Okay, so sometimes our hearts in other areas talk really, they're really sassy. So just like go in and check in. Thank you so much for letting me know that. I'm so sorry that you're tired. I'm so sorry that you don't feel like you're getting the attention that you deserve. I will make it the intention to check in on you at least two to three times a day and to implement any advice that you have. Okay, great. Instant change, instant radiance. I'm feeling that she's so happy, she's so radiant, she's so joyful, okay? I feel that instantly. And she feels more expansive. Okay, I love it, all right. Okay, I'm gonna go back to this reading. Okay, so that's just an example. It's so easy to tune in. And I want you to do that with your own heart when you're making decisions. Heart. How do I feel about eating this? Like, does this feel good for me? Does it not feel good? What do I really crave? What what should I what 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 should I be doing right now that's gonna bring me more energy, more prosperity, whatever. Just a little bit each day. Ask ask for everything man just tune into your inner compass and i also want you to do this with your inner child for a lot of people it's easier for them to write down this guidance 
because they trust what they write down a little bit more. Like the flow of consciousness is a little bit more consistent than it is with them checking in. So if it's challenging for you to check in with your body, um, what you can do is do that automatic writing exercise and just check in with your inner child and just write down for what set a timer for five, eight minutes, write down whatever comes up for that inner child, so on and so forth. Um, and, and here, but you really don't want to be logical air signs. This week, you really want to reside in the heart space. That's going to give you your truth, your full body truth. Check in with your heart, check in with your inner child. Okay? If there's resistance, if there is almost like a limitation, you want to explore gently what's coming up. Where is this fear? Is this hesitation? Is this not the right time? What's going on, right? Okay. Last but not least, Earth sign, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is the message for Earth sign, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Earth sign, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. to say they have a lot to say earth sign sun moon rising venus don't sell yourself short don't sell yourself short you're the master of your own reality so whatever you choose you deserve you experience whatever you choose that you feel you deserve to experience is going to come through this is a year of rapid manifestation for so many of us but earth signs, it, you're cutting this down to a science. Um, you're hitting the chariot sign. So this, you know, us, us entering the dragon new year is telling me that you're on go. You're on go. And next month is going to be what? The, the astrological new year going into Aries. And I'm sure a lot of you guys have already been working or focusing on projects or focusing on this new level of self. But Earth signs, I really feel like with the chariot, it's going to be on a whole nother fucking level. You don't even know what's coming your way. You don't even know what you're going to become. Like, to get the chariot and the magician is otherworldly manifestations, is instant manifestations, is instant opportunities and experiences. And it's a whole nother level of yourself being confident and competent in your own ability to work with energy and reality and not even trying not forcing not controlling but just being in the moment and knowing what you need to do when you need to do it and knowing that you're open to receiving guidance and and direction and when it comes you'll know what you need to do and inspiration you'll know what you need to do and spiritual communication you'll know it's like Oh, I've always been working and I'm just making my life easier. Therefore, now that I've worked, I've, I've made myself more available to live an easier life. Everything is just like boom, 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 falling into place. The chariot card is this. I, I would be interested in knowing what a lot of your and this is what I've been seeing in a lot of people is this is a time where a lot of people are. Um, Falling or finding their purpose, their divine purpose, like their soul blueprint purpose for this timeline. Why you decided to incarnate, who you're here to serve, what you're here to do, how you're here to awaken and catalyze people. I've seen this in so many people from content creators that are empowering women through their like daily fucking fitness or uh, self-care activities to mothers that are like uh, uh, creating non for profits and, and teaching children around the world or like chefs that are revolutionizing like plant-based medicine or 
um, therapists that are now more trauma informed, but are like incorporating spiritual technology or um, politicians that are, you know, just pushing the, the, the spectrum of what's possible in terms of like humanitarian leadership and stuff. So many people are falling into alignment with their purpose. I would be so curious. This is on the same wavelength path, the path, path line. So if a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys don't know what it is that you're supposed to be doing. Just do what you're doing now. It's going to find you. Follow your passion. Follow your resonance. Follow what pulls your heart. Follow what calls you. Follow your excitement. Follow your joy. All right? And, and, and keep creating until you find that. But I would be very, very intrigued to know information about your soul's blueprint through the Akashic Records. I know that they really want me to talk about the Akashic Records because I think it's like a tool that everybody should have now. Um, it's everybody's birthright to have access to the records. So many ways in which we can access the records, but so many infinite things we can th do through our own records. One of which is finding out about our soul's blueprint. Our soul, our, 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 our soul has lived so many lifetimes, so many experiences, so many timelines. And it has an original blueprint, an original identity, an original frequency that we're always working to get back to. And that soul has its own purpose. Like, why does my soul even exist? It has a purpose. It has a reason for being, existing. And each timeline you choose, each, each reality as a different human or species or wave of consciousness that you choose also has a purpose for being in that state. And so it would be just so intriguing for you to get into the mechanics and the energetics of what that is for you on both levels of what it is for you in this timeline as this human, what it is for you on a broader scale as a soul being and how you find your way to access your blueprint. I feel like you're going to be operating from this awareness of I am creator. It's like very, it's giving Neo from the matrix It's like, Oh, I understand the codes and the pro. I understand how this game works now. I understand that everything is a game and that reality is what we make of it. And you just either plug into a grid where everyone's thinking the same thing, believing the same thing and having the same experiences or plug yourself out of it. And I get to plug myself into this grid of tarot readers and I get to plug into myself into this grid of Afro Latinas and I get to plug into this grid of Instagrammers. I get to plug into this grid of chess players. And, you know, those are just some examples. It's like that everything has its own frequency. You get to choose what grids you want to participate in or de-plug yourself and, and choose another grid. And that creates your new combination of realities. And so for Earth signs, I really do feel like you're playing with this or you're understanding this on some sort of molecular, subconscious, deep cellular level. Um, it may not be like how I just articulated it. It could just be in the realm of your own faith, in your own denomination, your spiritual practice, or just like what's been happening in your life through your routines. But I really feel like you're going to not only be empowered, but discover your power. And that could be in the form of just a compilation of all the spiritual practices that you've used and incorporated or maybe new books that come your way or you're listening to somebody and they struck a strike a, a, a chord that just deeply resonates with you or um spirit just leaves a drop box of a message that is like a big epiphany and aha moment for you that blends everything together you're getting the four of cups I feel like earth signs, once you understand your blueprint, once you understand the dynamics of this stimulation, simulation, not step before, you could be stimulated by the simulation. The simulation that you've been in is like you're gonna be woke, you're not gonna be asleep anymore. This is someone who is asleep to the spirit realm, to, to the ways that things are. Sleep to the energy. <clears throat> energy is just everything that's information. Energy is, is, is energy in information, in motion. And it's just 
telling you about something, right? Good, bad, ugly, whatever. It's just telling you about something. And I feel like once you are aware to the science of energy, to the science of reality creation, to the science of energetic grids, like what I just provided as examples of what you've been consciously and subconsciously programmed with in the grids that you birthed into, because we also have ancestral grids, you're going to really take this above and beyond with the chariot and the magician. You're like, I now know my power. I'm empowered to make moves and boom, zero to 100. It's giving victory and success. It's giving accomplishing things that you didn't think was possible. It's giving accomplishing things in timelines and in time frames that you didn't think was possible. It's giving nobody can stop me. Um, it's giving I'm divinely appointed and anointed. And if I even need anything, all I need to do is sit down and rest and it's gonna be delivered to me. Because that's the grid you want to be on. You don't want to be on the grid of I need to sit and wait for things to come to me. Because that's also a grid. Because there's a lot of people that are plugged into that grid. Oh, I'm gonna, it takes a long time to manifest. That's a very old, dense reality. Now we're leveling up, right? What if we were in the grid of instant manifestation? What if we were in the grid? Because is instant manifestation is a reality for a lot of freaking people, and it also is not a reality for a lot of people. Is which grid do you want to plug into? When you plug into that grid, you need to now feel it. You need to now seek out the evidence around you that's pointing that you're in that grid. You need to now embody it and live it and remove anything that is not from that grid from your reality. Right? So, let's say for an example, you want to be in the grid where you boot up in a great relationship, right? Boom. You need to now, that you decide you're in that grid, you need to now have your reality model everything that is in that con constant grid. So you can't like wake up day to day being like, I'm still single or I'm single or act like a single person. Your house needs to look like the booze in there. You need to be dressed up like you would be dressed up if your boo was here. You need to be, uh, you know, preparing dinner or cooking out or doing activities as you would with your boo. You need to get out of any dating websites or whatever that you're on. Stop entertaining people that is not on the same wavelength as you. Um, stop checking in on your exes. All of that stuff that is of another timeline that is not the timeline of being booed up. You gotta stop and you gotta pull it from your grid. Okay? And boom. There's a bit of grid work for you guys. Fascinating stuff. But that's what's coming up for, for, for Earth signs. I really feel like you're like bypassing all this, quantum leaping, energetic jumping, Future me, sci-fi, this is a very sci-fi reading. I'm here for all this stuff. Um, but the whole main message for all the signs is you're ready to give up on this identity. It's not doing you no good. It's not like it's not doing you no good. It's like we're ready for more. We're ready for an up-leveled experience. We're ready to evolve. And that now requires that we act differently. We feel differently and we... Um, do the energetic exploration work that is going to um, help us jump into that space. Okay, so I'm sending you guys all the love. Please like and subscribe. And again, Energetics of Sensuality is on sale till the end of this month. Please go get it. I am so excited to see you guys there. Also, on February 25th, I am hosting on Possess Your Spirit membership if you are a member. If you're not, go down. Go. You can join too. Um, I'm gonna host a, a two plus hour masterclass group healing intensive on the energetics of opulence. Okay, so if you got the mini course, um, do the work in preparation for that masterclass. We're just gonna be doing it in a bigger container. We're gonna. I'm gonna be adding things that are not in that mini course and. Um, it's gonna it's it's gonna be really life changing. So can't wait to see you guys there. I'll see y'all next week. Bless bless.
Ciao.